We give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rakat Kudash. Double honors to the apostles that rule well. Salutation to all the brothers that's pushing the truth and sincerity, man. Yeah, much love to each and one of y'all, man. All right, I'm back. This is Brother Bakar. Um, coming with a a quick video. Right, it was in my spirit, so I said, you know what? Let me get a couple of precepts together and just um um and make and make a video. Right, the name of this video: Yahweh will pour His fury upon the heathens. I repeat, Yahweh will pour His fury upon the heathens. Right, and heathens is, just means non-Israelite. Okay, uh, heathen is not under the covenant. Uh, heathen is not the chosen people of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. So I don't know where wacky tacky Christians get the idea, the idol, the ideology, or the notion that Yahweh Shai died for everybody. When it explains in the Bible that the Most High going to destroy these heathens, and Yahweh is going to eradicate Edom which is the so-called white man, forever and ever, after he serves for a thousand years. And the rest of the heathens is going to be in their lot. Okay? And they're going to worship Yahweh, B'Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? All right. So, let's get to this video. All right? Let's get straight to the scriptures, man. Let's get straight to the scriptures. This is Jeremiah 10, verse 25. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not. Right, they don't know. They don't know the Most High, right? They don't know that uh, the Most High is nowhere in their thoughts, right? And upon the families that call not on Thy name, right? So, do the heathens call on the name of Yahweh B'Shem Of course not. For they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him, and have made his habitation uh, desolate, right? So. All the heathens has consumed us in some uh, form or fashion. Now, when you go to Zechariah, let me get the scripture real quick. All right, let me get the scripture real quick. This is Zechariah 1, 14 and 15, right? This is Zechariah 1, 14 and 15. So the angels that commune with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus sayest Yahweh of hosts, I am jealousy for Jerusalem. And uh, for Zion with a great jealousy. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased. And they helped for the affliction. That's right. All of them helped for the affliction. Right? Even the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites was part of the sub-Saharan uh, slave trade. Right? They was gathering jakes. Right? And selling us to who? The so-called white man. Right, uh, the Japanese, right, the Japanese, uh, are Ammon, right? They, they, they help for the affliction, right? Uh, putting MSG in our food, uh, selling us unhealthy food, right? And I believe it was under captivity, right, in the antiquities, in the ancient days. Right, Chinese, oh my God, Chinese, always selling us greasy food, right, MSG, why they're selling glue mate, right, they don't give a damn about us. That's why the scripture said, who's going to be moldy, right, who's going to be moldy, no, nobody's going to be moldy, nobody, right, that's why we need Yahweh B'Shem Yashah, and that's why we got to pray without season, because we need Yahweh B'Shem Yashah to deliver us out of this affliction. Right, it's like we are the underdogs in the society. Right? We are the black sheep of this world. All these nations is against us. All these nations don't give a damn about us, man. Where was Ishmaelites and uh, 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 the Chinese? Where was their protesting when uh, George Floyd, when Shavon got his knee on his neck? Where were they? Where were they? Where were they on the civil rights movement? Where were they? Right? They didn't give a damn about us, man. They don't give a damn about us. Alright? They was eating a long mean. They was eating a what was that? They was that they want drinking a wonton soup, laughing at us and talking about us. Them chingy eyed bastards, man. Right? So, hey man, the table's gonna turn though. Right? I don't know where 
Moab get this notion that these uh, chi uh, Chinese, all right, their biblical name is Moab, but their worldly name is Chinese. Where they think they're going to be in power next? They think they're going to be in power next when America go down. Nah, man, y'all all going to slavery. Each and every one of y'all, man. Right? Uh, the Hamites. Oh, the Hamites. We had a lot of problems with the Hamites back in the days, man. The Philistines, right? Uh, um, you know, we always warring with these bastards, right? Um, also, the Hamites have they, uh, their hand to play in uh, the slavery trade because these Hamites was gathering us, right? And they sold us to who? To the to the so-called white man, right? They trade us off for musket guns, you know, uh, drinks, right? And and numerous of products, man, right? They knew, the Hamites knew we wasn't the same people. The Hamites knew we wasn't the same people, right? We was prospering their land. We was thriving, and they ain't like that, man. We was engineers. We was scholars, right? Uh, 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 mathematicians, right? And the list goes on, man. Masons. So we were striving in their own land. So they got jealous and they sold us who, to the so-called white man, pretty much in a nutshell, right? So they all, the script, let me read that again. Uh, Zechariah 1, 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased and they helped for the affliction, Right? The so-called white man, oh my God, y'all know the history of the so-called white man. This dude is treacherous, he's wicked. He's a serpent that the Bible speak of. When you look at the word serpent, it means what? Treacherous person, right? So we know E, Edom is the so-called white man today, right? He's the one that's putting hell on us. He's the ones that uh putting these unrighteous decrees upon us. He's the one that had us in slavery. Uh, picking cotton from what? From uh, sundown, uh, sun up to sundown, man. You know, he, he's the shot caller of this demonic society, right? He the one that feed us MSG. He the one that uh, uh, contaminating the air. He the one that give us, put fluoride in our water, right? Uh, he the one that's constantly pushing pork, bacon in our foods and also capsules and the list goes on man this man is a damn devil he the one that caused chaos on earth all right he's the one that puts drugs in our community guns in our community man he's the one that does that all right if you watch the sitcom um snowfall it explains it right there that the cia had a big part of uh ter uh messing up uh the uh, so-called black communities right so they push drugs and, 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 and guns. Why they did that? To isolate us and keep us in one area to stay away from the so-called white neighborhoods, man. That's why he did that, right? And among other reasons, right? So when you look at the word ghetto, it means where the Jews dwell. That's what ghetto means. All right, I know I'm kind of going, um, going and going. So let's get to the next scriptures, right? This is Ezekiel 32. Ezekiel 32. All right, he's the ones that are pushing snake poison right upon our people, which the snake poison has what it alters your DNA, it causes blood clots, cause sterilization, and among other, other things. Right? All right, this is Ezekiel 32. This is the judgment of, uh, of the heathens. Ezekiel 32 21 through 32. 21 The strong, the strong among the mighty shall speak to him out of the midst of hell. With them that help him, they are gone down. They lie uncircumcised, slain by the sword. Ashur, which is the Assyrians, which really goes back to the Ishmaelites, is there and all her company. His graves are about him. All of them slain, fallen by the sword. That's right. All of them going to fall by the sword, man. This might happen during apocalyptic time, man. All right, when they go to war over there in Euphrates, right? Um, it's set, 23, whose graves are set in the sides of the pit and her companies round about her grave, all of them slain, 
fallen by the sword, which caused terror in the land of the living. Right? It's said all. Right? So the most I don't give a damn about these heathens, man. Alright? The silly wacky tacky Christians. Alright, we're gonna read about the East Indians. Right? There's Elam and all the multitudes round about her grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, which are gone down uncircumcised into the nether part of the earth, which caused their terror in the land of the living, yet have they borne their shame with them that go down to the pit. Right? And 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 what I'm reading is like most of these nations have what? Nuclear capabilities, man. They have, uh, they, they, some of them have ballistic missiles and so on. They're going to get in, they're going to get in this war. All right. They're going to be involved. Most likely going to destroy them. All right. 25. They have set her a bed in the midst of, of the slain with all her multitude. Her graves, right, are round about him. All of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword. Though their terror was caused in the land of the living, Yet have they borne their shame with them that go down to the pit. He is put in the midst of them that be slain. That's right. So guess what? The Elamites going to be slain by the sword, man. And the Elamites was ruling at one time during the, the Medes and the, and, and, and the Persians. And the Persians are the Medes. when They, they ruled over us at one point in time. Right? Under what? Uh, Darius. Right? Uh, and, and the Most High so fair, he gave all these nations opportunity to rule. The, the Most High is fair. He gave all of them opportunity to rule. And they couldn't rule justly and righteously at all. That's why Yahweh Shemeshach got to set Yasharala back on top again to establish righteousness on earth, man. All right? Because this place is wicked. Wicked. All right? So... All right, um, Meshach and Tobol. Meshach represent the Greeks today. Uh, Tobol represent Georgia or Armenia, right? That's what they represent today, right? Uh, they're Meshach and Tobol, and all, all her multitudes, her graves are round about him, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, though they caused their terror in the land of the living. Yep, they sure did, all right? And and Yahweh's uh, and Edom, you know, Edom today takes everybody nationality, man. They take everybody nationality, but they own, man. Right? And in the Apocrypha and, and First Maccabees, the Syrians they're talking about in the first chapter is a so-called white man, right? Every place they conquer, they take their identity, man. Okay, uh, twenty-seven, and they shall not lie with a, a mighty. That are fallen of the uncircumcised, which are gone down to hell with their weapons of war. There we go. And they have laid their swords under their heads, uh, but their iniquity shall be upon their bones, though they were the terror of the mighty in the land of the living. Right? So this is going to happen during apocalypse. This is going to help him when all hell break, break loose on earth, man. Right? Yay. 28. Yay. Thou shalt be broken in the midst of the uncircumcised, uh, right? And shall lie with them that are slain with the sword. All right, 29. Here come wicked Edom, right? So-called white man today. 29. There is Edom, her kings and her prince, which with their might are laid, uh, laid by them uh, that were slain by the sword, they shall lie with the uncircumcised, there we go, and with them that go down to the pit. There be the prince of the north, all of them, and all the Zidonians, right, that's the uh, so-called South Africans, right, which are gone down with the slain, with their terror. They are ashamed of their might, and they lie uncircumcised with them that be slain by the sword, and bear their shame with them that go down to the pit. Pharaoh shall see them, right? Pharaoh shall see them. It's like Joe Biden, Joe Lighten, all right? Uh, uh, they call him Joe uh, Biflation, right? Because he's the ones that increasing the, 
uh, inflation in America today. All right. Ever since he became president, gas went up. All right. Food prices went up. All right. Um, he also took petroleum, oil, and sold it to the other uh, uh, other countries like Africa and some parts of Europe. When we need the petroleum, when we need those reserves right here in America to drop down get uh, to drop gas prices. Right, but this damn devil don't get uh, don't give a damn. He don't give a damn. Right, and first of all, I feel he's too old to be president. There should be, there's a a, a limitation to, I think there's a restriction for you to become president, right? But there's not a restriction on the age limit, all right? So I think he's 78, 79. He's too old to be a president, you know? In my eyes, a, a president should be maybe between 30 and maybe about 60, 65. I think that's a good number right there. But damn, this dude is damn near 80, right? He's always taking a nap in every meeting, right? Always taking a nap in every meeting. Hey, you too old, right? And and and, and, and he's a laughing stock. You know, these other nations is laughing at America, man. You got an old grandpa in, in a presidency, right? Ruling. All right, anyway, 31, Pharaoh shall see them. Um, and I feel he's incompetent, man. Uh, Pharaoh shall see them and shall be comforted over all his multitude, even Pharaoh and all his army slain by the sword, says Yahweh Power. Right? Yo, yo, the American forces, the Marines, the Army, the Coast Guards, the Navy, the Air Force, all of them is going to be slain by the sword, man. Right? That's what it says. Pharaoh shall see them and shall be comfort, um, comforted over all the multitudes. Even Pharaoh and all his army slain by the sword, says Yahweh, power. For I have caused my terror in the land of the living and shall, and shall be laid in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that are slain with the sword. Even Pharaoh and all his multitudes, says Yahweh, power. So that's the judgment of the heathens. Right, you remember the name of this video? How will pour his fury upon the heathens, man? And this is what we look forward to, man. This is what we look forward to. All right, this is Leviticus twenty-six, verse thirty-eight. Leviticus twenty-six, verse thirty-eight. And ye shall perish among the heathens, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. That's right. What, who he's he, who he's talking to right here? He's talking to. Uh, uh, this is Moses, right? Talking to. Uh, our people, if we follow the ways of the of the heathens, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna perish with them also. We're gonna perish with them also, man. That's why the scripture says, "Flee out of the midst of Babylon." What that means? Flee out of the uh, uh, the wickedness of Babylon, right? Flee away from their religion. Flee away from Esau philosophy. Flee away from their demonic food. That's what it's talking about. They ain't talking about flee to another country, man. Right? They ain't, that's not what it's talking about. And ye shall perish among the heathens, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. Right? Because Israel right now, they are uncircumcised. They are uncircumcised in the heart. Right? The heathens are natural uncircumcised. They are the Gentiles. Right? Um, they are the natural Gentiles. And Jacob is the unnatural, unnatural Gentiles. The heathens are the natural Gentiles. Right, because our people is uncircumcised in their heart, and they learn their ways. So that's why they, uh, that's why they are labeled as Gentiles, right? Because they follow the customs of the heathens, man. So when they come to the commonwealth, uh, come to the law and the statutes and commandments, then they are no more Gentiles, right? Jeremiah nine twenty four through twenty six. Jeremiah nine twenty four through twenty six. All right. Is going to explain it right here. 24. But let him who boasts, boast in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am Yahweh who practice steadfast love, justice, righteousness in the earth. Doing these things, I delight to clear Yahweh. 25. Here's the punch. Behold, the days are coming. Declare, uh, declares the power, Yahweh. When I will punish all those who are circumcised merely in the flesh. So these are the heathens. Egypt, Judah, Edom, the sons of Ammon are the Japanese, Moab are the Chinese, 
and all who dwell in the desert, who cut who cut the corners of their hair. For all these nations are uncircumcised. Here we go. And all the house of Yasharala are uncircumcised in the heart. Right? Because wacky tacky Christians, they want, they uh, when, when they read John 3.16, they think that's talking about everybody. They think Yahweh B'Shem Yashar died for the heathens, but no, Yahweh B'Shem Yashar died for who? For the nation of Israel. For the nation of Israel. Man, I might do a, a separate video on that topic alone. Right? So, read that last part. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart, because they learn their ways, man. They learn their ways. Let me get a quick scripture real quick. A quick scripture. This is Psalms 106. Psalms 106. A quick, quick precept. All right. This is Psalms 106. Psalms 106, verse 35. But were mingle among the heathen and learn their works. And they serve their idols, which are were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. And that's happening today. Celebrities sacrifice their sons and their daughters. Dr. Dre, right? He sacrificed his son. Right? John Tavolta, I believe he's a Hebrew Israelite. He sacrificed his son. Uh, Jennifer Hudson sacrificed her brother and her mother, I think. All right, if I'm not mistaken. Kanye West sacrificed his mother. That's why he kind of bugged out. That's right, he's un he's un he's unstable in the in the mind, right? Bruno Mars sacrificed his mother, right, for riches, right? So guess what? Our people learn their ways, man. And that's why they're uncircumcised in their heart. And that's why two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Okay, next scripture, Zephaniah, Zephaniah 2, 11 through 12, Zephaniah 2, 11 through 12, right? Yahweh will be terrible unto them, for he, he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen, the Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. That's right. So I think during Feats of Tabernacle, right, everybody's going to worship Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Right? Everybody going to worship Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai. The scripture said right here on 11, it said, And men shall worship him, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathens. All right? So all is going to worship Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai. They're going to give reference to Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Yeah, if the opens, man, yeah, wicked Kushites, man, yeah, gonna be slain by the sword, cause uh, it's a group of Ethiopians call themselves the Falashian Jews, right? Falasha Jews, right? Falashas mean what? False. You are not the real Jews. Yeah, wicked, nasty Ethiopians. Yeah, apple head, purple lip bastards. All right, you are not the real Jews. They're gonna be slain by the sword. Thus says Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Ecclesiasticus seventeen seventeen. Ecclesiasticus seventeen seventeen. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people, but Israel, Yasharala, is the Lord's portion. That's right. We are the apple of his eye, man. We are the apple of his eye. Hey, Yahweh Shemshah only loves us. He don't love the heathens, man. He don't love the heathens. He only loves us. I'm going to prove it real quick. There we go. Uh, 1 Kings 10. 1 Kings 10. All right. 1 Kings 10, verse 9. 1 Kings 10, verse 9. I'm going to prove it right here. We're going to end it with this. Blessed be Yahweh, thy power, which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Yasharala, because Yahweh loved Israel forever. Forever, ever, forever. Therefore, may he the king to do judgment and justice. So where's the other nation in this verse? Where? He said, I change not. Right? Lord said he changes not. His word doesn't change. He said, Lord loves Israel, Yasharala, forever. Right? And the scripture said, he's not a man that he shall lie. Okay? 
So when you go to John 3, 16, when you see Gentiles, the Gentiles mean what? Hellenistas, right? So it means Israelites, uh, really means Israelites that adopted heathen customs. That's why they are Gentiles. But when they come to the Commonwealth, they are no longer Gentiles. Okay? They are no longer Gentiles. Uh, there's a scripture in, in Yahweh shot. Let's get that real quick. Let's get that real quick. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I believe it's Matthew, right? I believe it's Matthew. Let's get that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh man, my mind went blank. Yeah, bear with me for a moment. Up, 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 uh. Um, there we go. This is uh Matthew. 22 verse 32 i am the power of abraham the power of isaac and the power of jacob yahweh was not the power of the dead but of the living so the most high is the power of jacob man where is where, where and, and 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 the heathens are considered dead the heathens are considered dead right let me get that real quick let me prove my point all right let me prove my point this is isaiah 14 isaiah 14 Right. Isaiah 14, uh, verse 9. Hell from beneath is moved from thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirs up the dead. We're talking about the dead right there. We're talking about the other nations, especially Edom. Right? He stirs up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It has ra raised up from their thrones, all the kings of the nations, right? So now when you go back to Matthew, Matthew 15, where, where, where did I just read? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, Salakia. <clears throat> yeah, Salakia. Matthew 22, sorry. Matthew 22, verse 32. I am the power. I'm going to repeat it again. I am the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob. Yahweh is not the power of the dead, but of the living. Who are the living? There is a light side. Why are we are the living? Because the laws and statutes was given to the nation of Israel, not to the heathens. So the heathens are considered dead. All right. The heathens are considered dead. Okay. See, I see my battery getting low right here. So. Hey, I hope it was edifying, man. You know, and the name of this video, Yahweh, Yahweh will pour his fury upon the heathens. All right, see you on the next video, man. We give all praises to Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh All right. Death to America, death to Esau, and two thirds of these heathens. Death to and the flaming fairies. Death to them all, bastards.